In this demonstration, we'll look at creating custom views in Event Viewer. Anybody that's used Event Viewer will know that we can get quite a bit of information out of Event Viewer relating to many, many log files that we get associated with our Windows Server operating system. What we may decide to do is we may decide to create our own. So what we have within here is we have custom views. Now, if I just expand up custom views, we've got our server roles at this point here. And what we can see is if I go for web IIS, we can see that we've got information relating to the IIS service. We also have one as well for remote desktop services. So what I want to do at this point here is I want to create my own custom view. So I'll come up with my custom views. And what we're going to do at this point here is I'll right click and I'll create a custom view. First thing it's going to ask me for is to create my filter. And we'll start up at the top here, logged, yep, we're happy with any time. And in the case of the event level, I'm not really interested in information for this custom view. Information tells me that something has happened that was supposed to happen. But what I am interested in for my custom view here is I'm interested in anything that's critical, anything that's warning, and anything that's an error. Then what we'll do here is we'll do this by logs. So we'll come to event logs, we'll click on our drop down. And what we're going to have a look at here is we'll just expand up our Windows logs. Uh, now we've expanded this up, what we'll do is we'll select our system and we'll specify also as well our application. Then what we'll do is we'll just click back into this. We'll go with all event IDs. We won't bother with any task categories as a filter. We won't specify any keywords. We're happy with all users and all computers. So at this point here, we'll just select OK. We have to give it a name. At this point here, we'll just call ours a datum custom view. Uh, I won't bother with the description. We need to select where to save our custom view. So at this point here, what we'll do is we'll just save it into custom views and select OK. Then what we get is we get our datum custom view. And as you can see, we've got our errors. We've got our warnings. If we scroll all the way down, what we don't have is we don't have any informations. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thank you.